Good idea. So this is the climb up Hell Hill, as it's called. It's just a gravel uh, path leading to the peak up here. And it's where all, pretty much once you get to the top, there's the trail is downhill if you're doing it counterclockwise. So as you're climbing up Hell Hill here, if you're in good shape, you might be able to do it without stopping. But most people stop a few times. It's a pretty good workout. As you can see, we're starting to enter a little gap between the colored rocks here where the trail goes through. So just about as you hit the one mile past the half hour mark, you will reach the top of Hell Hill. And you just go over the top here. And the trail continues down this way. As you're walking down the hill here, uh, the trail kind of forks into a left and a right. Both lead to the same wash down there. The trail going straight is a little easier. You just have to go a little longer. Uh, the trail off to the right, just kind of just at the end of that trail, you're going to be sliding down a just a little bit of uh, red and white rock down there. But feel free to take either one. They'll get down, you down there in just a few minutes. Uh, when you get, if you take the uh, harder route, when you get to this little crevasse here, don't go down it. It's much easier where all these people are to walk across there on top and then come down. Much safer. And then just simply work your way down to the bottom along the most logical route. Again, if you're taking this harder way. When you get to the very bottom of the hard way, it might look like it's kind of a dead end, but there's the wash at the bottom down there. All you have to do is go through that crack in the rock. Just go down and it's not hard as it looks. Once you get to the bottom of the wash, uh, this is what it looks like. You just keep going down this way. There is only one spot where there is a little bit of a slide. You can go down and down it, or you can use this path that simply leads around. I usually take the around path, but some people like to go down. So when you get here, uh, don't go over that way. Go down this way and just step down, step down, step down, just like those people. So here is yet another obstacle. But it doesn't seem to be as bad. You pretty much take the direct route. Just use your arms and go down, down, down. And you pop out. So as you clear the canyon here, all you want to do is keep going around the mountain. You can either hug the mountain, you can go in the wash, just generally keep circling it until you get back to where you are. See as you round the corner here are these rocks marked by one of these signs. Whenever you see one of these signs with the please don't erase traces it means you found petroglyphs. These are a fairly well-known site right on the trail here. They're fairly worn out, but if you uh, walk around the boulders you'll see a few of them here. So here's a better view of the petroglyphs. See some down there in the sun. Kind of shine out, makes it a little harder. 